you can tell it's a needle. I don't think I've ever gone this long on camera without flexing. Hey, best pally, I'm Allie, and I learned that getting a tattoo can affect your metabolism. It may give you a blood sugar spike. So in this video, I'm gonna test out if that's true on my own body. I'm wearing a Levels Continuous Glucose Monitor, so this is gonna show us my blood sugar in real time. Now let's get inked. I am 10 minutes late to my appointment, just adding to my stress, perfect. Hi, thanks. You stressed? No, this is great. I'm <laughs> consenting to get stabbed. Not too late to back out. Or is it? Yeah, because I said yes a year and a half ago. Ugh. How big are you thinking? Not. So you're not going to do like this big? <laughs> Just trace my <laughs> whole arm. So the reason I'm getting this tattoo is because I lost a bet to this gentleman. It wasn't even a bet. It was like I was trying to gently motivate you. Do you have any tattoos? Any permanent tattoos? I have one on my lip, yeah. It's not a permanent tattoo. In fact, oh. it was supposed to go away. So a permanent tattoo is the same process as any traditional tattoo shop. The only difference is ours is temporary and theirs is permanent. Have you ever seen it not fake? Some people it's lasted two years. You've had some people where it's faded away in five months. Oh, wow. All right, have you ate or drank anything within the last four hours? No, that's a part of the test, that if I eat something, it will affect my metabolism. I know you said to eat on the website before I got here, but I'll be fine, I'm used to fasting. You can get a glucose spike from eating something really carby or working out really intensely. I've never tested the stress thing. A glucose spike can come from stress, from the pain of being stabbed several times in a row, or perhaps the stress of making a stupid life decision. Or all three. Going to the bathroom. Not because I'm nervous, because I'm well hydrated. You know, the, the double CGM feels a little gratuitous, wouldn't you say? What does that mean? That means my blood sugar is low. No, I'm not going to eat a Sour Patch, sir. I can't ruin the experiment. Not bad. Uh, I would call that bad. You want it? On me. On your whip. <laughs> no! Forehead. Large, medium, small, extra small, extra, 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 extra small. I like the little ghosting. Maybe I'll just do a drop shadow. I don't know if I should do this. Last chance. Still holding strong at 89. And it, it's a 15 minute delay, so we won't even see it in real time, really. So my metabolism giving me energy is because it thinks that I should run from the lion. And my body is not evolved enough to know that there is no lion. I'm just laying here. Maybe I should run. Last chance. I can tell it's a needle. Several needles. Feeling a bit. Rest. Since we're talking about metabolism, I want to give you one of my biggest metabolism tips. Fiber. Getting enough fiber in your diet is huge for... Somebody's here. Probably my next Bellway delivery. Anyway, fiber is really huge for lowering glucose spikes, but it's really hard to get enough in your natural diet. But Bellway is super easy and also it's delicious and it comes with greens too. We actually tested having a really crappy food and how big of a spike we got and then the same food but with Bellway and the spike was way lower. That's super convincing to me. If it is to you too, use the link in my description. And more convincing, Bellway is hooking my pallies up with a discount. Now back to my poor life decisions. We're done? Dude, that looks awesome. <laughs> oh my. Wow, there it is. Let's get a flex. So since I'm not moving around and I may have gotten a glucose spike, my body isn't using that up. I'm not running from the lion, so it's just gonna stay there in my blood. We will see in 15 minutes if that's the case. Well, 96. Uh-oh, uh, We're moving up already. It's still a little hurty. I feel like I'm getting residual stress right now. Ow. Do you want a lollipop? Kinda. Any other comments? Boop. And now for the results. It is the next day. It is looking puffy, inflamed, not happy. It did hurt during. It hurt afterwards that evening too. And now this morning, it's still a little bit hurty. I have to keep this patch on for another day or so. And then there's still a couple of weeks of healing. So if you want to see what it looks like, when it's actually done, you'll have to follow me on YouTube Shorts because I will definitely be showing it off there. And now what happened to my glucose? According to levels on their scale of one to 10, one being the biggest spike, 10 being no spike at all, this was a nine, basically no spike. I'm actually wearing a different brand sensor right now so we can get a second opinion. And the other one gave me a 10, zero spike. So I guess my metabolism doesn't care to help me out to run from that lion. What I really think is that this is so small that it wasn't prolonged enough of a stress stimulus for it to register on my body. Or perhaps I'm just too exceptionally calm. Or maybe it's that I love pain and it was not at all stressful. So I guess let me know in the comments if I should get a larger tattoo to see if that gives me a spike. No, never mind. I'm taking that back. Don't answer that. The reason I wanted to test this is because someone else that works with Levels experienced a spike while he got his tattoo. I got a, a big tattoo kind of covering my whole shoulder and upper arm. And a couple of times I rolled over onto my shoulder and woke myself up just from the pain. And this morning when I looked at my Levels data, I see two rather substantial spikes 
breaks that occurred that probably coincided with that. Okay, it wasn't while he got his tattoo, it was after, but I assumed during the tattoo would be even worse, especially because I'd have the stressful anticipation of it before. If you're not new to my channel, you know I'm pretty good at being nervous. Let's get this going before I chicken out. Let's get this started before I get more nervous. I'm kind of nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Nervous? Nervous? More nervous. That was when I get nervous. So I talked to Steve, he's awesome, and he suggested that when the pain is expected, maybe that's why there was a lower glucose spike. So it's the fact that your brain doesn't know it's coming that causes the hormone surge and your blood sugar up like this. I had an instance once where I was pulling on a t-shirt while walking through my bedroom door and I banged my elbow elbow about as hard as I've ever banged my elbow. And that resulted in, I think, close to a 50 point glucose spike. So let me know in the comments if you want me to have Christine randomly punch me in the face when I don't know it's coming to see what happens. What? I did not sign up for that. <laughs> I need your help. Getting punched? <laughs> Also, the tattoo artist was concerned that I'd been fasting because he's seen people faint. That's the exact opposite problem. Your blood sugar's too low to get inked. Jeez, it is complicated getting stabbed intentionally. Also, every body is different, every tattoo is different, and I've heard specifically for diabetics, blood sugar spikes are a risk from tattoos. So I think that I could get some expected pain that was bad enough that my body would yell, LION! If you like this, you'll like seeing when we tried to spike our blood sugar as high as possible during a workout, and there were remarkable results with that. I'll put that down there for you. Is just secretly doing straight 150 burpees. Hey, best pally, I'm Allie. I'm Christine. And this is the blood sugar spike sprint. You may have seen.